In 2009, Air France Flight 447 vanished over the Atlantic, with 228 people on board. What followed was one of the most complex aviation investigations in history. I'm a trained air traffic controller, and in this video, I'll break down exactly what went wrong and what the crew and system missed. Welcome to Let's Not Crash. The flight entered an area known for heavy storms, the Intertropical Convergence Zone. Pilots faced turbulence and towering cumulonimbus clouds, but that alone wasn't the problem. Suddenly, the PIDOT tubes, small instruments that measure airspeed, iced over. The autopilot disconnected. This triggered a cascade of confusing warnings. With unclear airspeed and high altitude, the pilots pulled back on the stick, causing the plane to climb steeply. This led to a stall, but they didn't realize it. For the next three minutes, the plane was falling at over 10,000 feet per minute. The crew were highly trained, but overwhelmed by unclear alerts. Airbus philosophy prevented force feedback between pilots, controls. Communication broke down, the stall warning kept cutting in and out. So, what did aviation learn? PIDOT tube design was upgraded. Crew training on high-altitude stalls was overhauled. Cockpit communication protocols were revised. This crash changed aviation forever. Air France 447 is a tragedy, but also a lesson in the complexity of modern flight. If you found this breakdown useful, like and subscribe to Let's Not Crash. Next time we...